Lyme versus EBV, symptom, similarities, and differences. You might not have heard about Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, but chances are you've probably had it. EBV lays dormant in the body and up to 95% of people contract it. Some people are unaffected by the virus, but others have severe symptoms, especially if they suffer from autoimmune conditions like Lyme. EBV stands for Epstein-Barr virus, which is a type of herpes virus that infects the human body. It is one of the most common viruses to affect humans, and most people are infected with it at some point in their lives, often during childhood or adolescence. EBV is spread through close personal contact, such as kissing, or through the exchange of saliva, blood, or other bodily fluids. Once a person is infected, the virus remains in the body for life and can reactivate at any time. So what does EBV mean for Lyme sufferers? Find out everything you need to know about EBV versus Lyme as we proceed. What is Lyme? Lyme is caused by the bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi, and people contract it through tick bites. It's not a straightforward illness because the symptoms vary between sufferers, and it doesn't always appear on tests. Lyme is also called the great imitator because it can present symptoms associated with many neurological and autoimmune conditions. The result is that many sufferers don't get an accurate diagnosis or the correct treatment. In many cases, you can treat Lyme with a course of antibiotics and have a better chance of recovery if you treat it in the early stages. However, Lyme is highly resistant to antibiotics and can remain in the body even after treatment. If left undiagnosed or untreated, early stage Lyme can develop into chronic Lyme. Early stage Lyme symptoms. Early stage symptoms occur within 3 to 42 days after a bite from an infected tick and include 1. A distinctive round rash. However, this only occurs in around 50% of cases. 2. Flu-like symptoms such as fever, chills, headache, stiff neck, muscle aches, fatigue, swollen lymph nodes, chronic Lyme symptoms. If left untreated, Lyme will develop into chronic Lyme disease and symptoms include chronic pain, chronic fatigue, migraines, brain fog, facial paralysis, jaw pain, tingling and numbness in extremities, irregular sleep patterns, and night sweats, hot flushes, swollen glands, stiff neck, depression, and anxiety. What is EBV? It can cause severe health issues. Doctors can test for EBV, but because it's a virus, it doesn't respond well to antibiotics. EBV symptoms. The most common EBV symptoms generally last two to four weeks, and they include fever, headache, sore throat, skin rash, aches, fatigue, swollen lymph glands, including tonsils and enlarged spleen. How are Lyme and EBV related? Lyme disease and EBV. Epstein-Barr virus are two distinct infections that can cause similar symptoms, but they are not directly related to each other. However, some studies suggest that a previous infection with EBV may increase a person's susceptibility to Lyme disease or make their symptoms more severe. Lyme and EBV share many symptoms. Because Lyme has inaccurate testing and shows many false negatives, it's easy for doctors to misdiagnose it as EBV. Lyme affects the immune system and it can cause EBV to flare up in the body and appear positive in tests. EBV lies dormant in the body and can continually reactivate if you have a compromised immune system due to Lyme. Therefore, addressing both conditions is essential to recovery. The exact mechanisms by which a previous infection with EBV may worsen symptoms of Lyme disease or vice versa are not yet fully understood. However, there are a few theories about how this might occur. 1. Immune System Suppression EBV can cause temporary suppression of the immune system, which may make it more difficult for the body to fight off other infections, including Lyme disease. 2. Chronic Inflammation Chronic inflammation caused by EBV or Lyme disease may weaken the immune system and make it more difficult to fight off other infections, including each other. 3. Co-Infection in some cases, a person may be infected with both EBV and Lyme disease at the same time, which can make symptoms of both infections more severe. 4. Cross-reactivity 
Antibodies generated in response to one infection may cross-react with the other, leading to an exaggerated immune response and increased inflammation. It's important to note that not all people with a previous EBV infection will experience an increased risk of Lyme disease or a more severe course of the disease and vice versa. In conclusion, infections such as EBV are frequent with Lyme disease, and the problem with infections is they can make symptoms worse and prevent recovery. Many people have EBV and live normal lives without symptoms, but for people with Lyme disease, EBV is a different story. If you have Lyme, potentially, it can make EBV reactivate in your body, causing chronic symptoms. So if you've been diagnosed with EBV and have recurring symptoms, consult an educated practitioner on your symptoms and how to address the issues. If this information has been beneficial to you, please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel. And if you're interested in even more valuable and informative content like this, be sure to check out our other videos. We greatly appreciate your support.